Here's an example of using a phase lag controller. I've already written down the system. The plant is 20 over S times S plus 4. So this already has an integrator in it. I've quickly sketched out the plant dynamics for the Bode plot. And you can see it's made up of three parts. One is the DC gain. One is the integrator, which has a straight line at minus 20 dB that passes through a frequency of 1. The other is the pole at minus 4, and that has a straight line until we get to a cutoff of minus 4, and then it goes down and that gives us a total of minus 40 dB per decade when combined with the integrator. The phase shift, the pole has a total of 90 degrees phase shift all the time, and the pole at minus 4 gives us another 90 degrees which is centered about four plus or minus one decade, so from 0.4 to 40, and that gives us that curve right there. If you want something more accurate, you should go to MATLAB. The requirements are that I want a phase margin of around 70 degrees and no change in KV, the ramp air constant. So no change in the ramp air constant essentially means that I can't be moving the curve up and down. You can see I could get 70 degrees of phase margin just by attenuating the curve. So by putting a small value for gain less than one in, that would move the curve down. So it goes like this instead. Now the crossover is here. You can see this would be our new phase margin, but I'm not allowed to do that because I can't change KV. So I have to live with this phase margin right here, which I need to increase. The solution is this case is to use a phase lag. And we use a phase lag to decrease the gain of the system without affecting the DC gain. Quick review. The phase lag looks like this orange curve. And I'm going to put a phase lag in with the right height and the right location so that when added to the red curve, I get an increase in the phase margin. The technique with a phase lag, at least in this case, is to put the lag back far enough so that we drop this curve down and force the crossover point to come back. If the crossover point moves back this direction, then we can increase the phase margin. But you have to press it back far enough so that this dip that comes from the phase lag itself doesn't interfere with the spot you're trying to get phase margin. I'm trying to get a phase margin of around 70. So that means I want to be somewhere around here, which means if I could reduce the crossover point to this right here, then I would have the right phase margin. Well, in order to move the crossover to that point, I need to reduce the gain of the system in this vicinity by about 14 dB. Based on my 14 dB required gain, I can figure out what the value for A would be. Log of A is the total gain attenuation that I get from a phase lag controller, and that gives me 0.199. Next, I need to pick a point for the pole and the zero for my phase lag, where it starts at the pole and then there it adds in a zero. So I just want it to be back far enough so that this phase lag doesn't affect what I'm trying to do. So I'm going to pick that the phase lag should end here at about 0.3. That means that 1 over AT should be equal to 0.3. T is equal to 16.6. And 1 over T is 0 0.05. And that's all the parameters I need. I can write down the controller right now. It is 1 plus 1 over 0.3S. So I have a 0 at 0 0.3. And 1 over 1.05S. I have a pole at 0 0.05. The curve should look something like this. And now I need to add the red curve to the blue curve. And the resulting is the purple curve. And I come down. And now this is my phase margin, which is pretty close to what I was shooting for. And that's the design.